trade gay and lesbian Christians with its stance on gay marriage. As its ruling body debates the issue, members of the General Synod will vote on a bishop's report which says only a man and a woman should marry in church and services shouldn't be held to bless the relationship of a same-sex couple. Our religious affairs correspondent Martin Bashir has more. Amazing Grace, sung by protesters this morning and almost certainly required this afternoon, as General Synod prepares to debate the Bishop's report on same-sex marriage. A report that says marriage in church should remain the lifelong union between a man and a woman. After engaging in three years of shared conversations, many lesbian and gay Christians are angered that church doctrine is not falling into line with the law of the land which legalised same-sex marriage in 2014. We're talking here about the national church being massively out of step with people. And this isn't just about saying that we have to follow what society is, is, is doing and what society is saying. This is about saying, actually, where people perceive love in relationships between one another, can the Church of England simply not recognise that God is present in those things? Bishops preparing for this afternoon's debate acknowledge their own struggles with church doctrine on the subject of same-sex marriage. Now I'd be misleading you if I did not confess to being conflicted in presenting this report, but in that I think I'm far from alone among the bishops and in the wider Church of England. And our own history in dealing with these matters also explains why people on all sides of the debate rarely find themselves satisfied. Today's debate will conclude at 7 this evening with a vote. Members of Synod will be invited to affirm or reject the Bishop's report. If they choose the latter, then questions about the unity of the Church of England and indeed the global Anglican Communion are likely to surface once again. Martin Bashir, BBC News at Church House in central London. Well, that debate is continuing at the moment. Our correspondent, Lisa Hampley, is at Church House. And I just wonder what sense, what sort of mood you've been picking up on from people who've been attending that today and indeed perhaps some of the protesters. Well, after three years of private debate, the General Synod will have the opportunity uh, from five o'clock, quarter to five this afternoon, to discuss this openly. Now, they're discussing the bishop's report, which maintains that marriage in church should be a lifelong commitment between a man and a woman. And as you can imagine, gay rights activists aren't happy about that. They say that it's out of step with the general public and that it makes uh, gay and lesbian people feel... Uh, that, that it's not fair to them. Uh, there has been a protest been going on all day. We have a vigil behind us, uh, the rains meaning they've gone inside a bit now. But uh, a lot of them are saying that they, they're very angry. They, they think that, that this should be looked at again. And what we're hearing, as we've heard from the Bishop of Norwich who presented this report, and he said he's struggling with this. Uh, and he says that he's conflicted. And he said that he doesn't think that anyone really will be particularly happy with the outcome. Now, how this is going to work is there are three different votes. There's the laity, the bishops, and the clergy. Now, they all have to have a majority, each one of those groups, for this to be affirmed. And now we're hearing that it's very tight, and if this isn't affirmed, then it will be kicked into the long grass. In fact, you can't come back with this report. They'll have to start again. So we're going to wait till we've got the vote at 7 o'clock. But the other problem here is the unity of the Church of England. So we have two sides to this debate and we have a very polite big protest here. Oh.